How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be explaining how to unlock 96 overall Marcus Simeon for free. This is the brand new May Player of the Month reward. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now there are probably a few different ways to unlock this 96 overall Marcus Simeon but the fastest way to unlock it would be to complete the tops now moments already of course right those tops now from may and then unlock all of those cards you won't be able to complete the collection right away because you need some of these may player of the month cards so there are some moments that also are attached to the may player of the month program you'll want to complete those and if you've already completed the tops now moments that's where you'll want to start okay once you complete a few of those uh, May Player of the Month moments, you should earn some progress to unlock the Austin Meadows and the Jesse Winker card. That way you can complete their individual mission that could be done in Conquest or potentially play for CPU. I remember uh, doing the April Player of the Month missions in Conquest. So that would be the number one recommendation that I would do. Also, if you wanted to focus on a specific Conquest, the, uh, the Batter Up, I believe it's called. It's the small Conquest map. It's a starting one uh, where you're going up against the Rockies. That might be the best way to complete this. Um, that's how I was able to get the Byron Bucks in. But these cards are pretty good, right? You can earn these diamond players leading up to the Marcus Simeon without actually doing the collection. And you can't even do the collection until you collect most of these cards anyway. Uh, so that kind of helps you out, right? You don't collect the cards until you're done with the rest of the program. I believe you can get up to... 98 uh, program points but we also got a brand new Corey Kluber this is a second Corey Kluber right we already had a tops now one now we get a May player of the month even though we don't have the card art once you have earned all of these May player of the month cards then you can kind of make the decision right do you want to lock in all of those tops now players that you've also unlocked okay because as you're going through this you're going to get tops now packs you're going to get other loot as well including a 42 series choice pack that will include one of the 10 42 legends that we have in MLB the show 21 those cards are going for a lot of stubs and this is exactly where we see it at the 90 program star mark okay you can get all the way up to 98 program points without collecting uh, the 38 tops now players that you need or the 38 may and tops now players for this Marcus Simeon this Marcus Simeon is very good card he will get up to 90 three defense when you parallel him maxed out at that tier five he'll also have above 90 contact really good power 125 contact and 93 against right is pretty good the only thing he's lacking is vision and that doesn't matter as much when you have those higher overall contact attributes okay so this is exactly the collection i'm talking about uh the april player of the months do not go into this collection but you know some of those cards may fluctuate in price for may because we, uh, we have more of those packs going out into the market as well. Uh, but here we have a Carlos Santana, 95 overall signature series switch hitter. This is the set 15 headliner pack, and I just wanted to break it down. Right, I don't think, personally, I will be unlocking the Marcus Simeon card. This is my current team of ranked seasons, or my squad for ranked seasons, and I don't think Simeon would play on this squad. I don't necessarily like his swing in the game. He's not like a player that... I'm just dying to have, and I sold a lot of my Tops Now players. I went through that collection. I showed you some of them. I collected the ones that I've already collected for Mariano Rivera, um, but that's how you know that could affect the price on the market. Some people may lock in those Tops Now cards and not unlock Simeon, but there might not be as many available on the market to buy or sell. Okay, I, I'm just trying to speculate. I'm thinking about... Uh, what could potentially happen with this but that is how you unlock 96 overall may player of the month marcus simeon for free obviously there is a cost involved but you don't have to pay any money you don't have to spend any stubs in order to get that card now you do miss out on potentially selling some of those cards and earning some stubs into your stub bank and spending them on other players but you get a lot of players to go along with this right you can build an entire team by just grinding the game for a few hours, by playing those missions, moments, tops now, moments, and then of course that collection. I don't necessarily think that this Marcus Simeon is better than Byron Buxton all around as a player. I just think Byron Buxton has a little bit more value 
uh, for your ranked season squad, right? He has all five tools. He's, he's lacking a little bit in contact and vision as well. Uh, Marcus Simeon has better contact attributes than Buxton, but the defense, the speed, the center fielding ability, um, I just think he has more value, especially because I already have 99 overall Jackie Robinson. I really like that card. He's my favorite card to use. I don't necessarily think he's the best card in the game, but I think that he's my favorite. Uh, I think Mike Trout is the best, but I also like that Buxton. I like batting him lower part of my lineup. Uh, I just feel like he has a little bit more value than the Marcus Simeon, at least for me specifically. If you have more of a budget team, Marcus Simeon might be you know, your best card in your entire lineup because he also plays second base. And second base isn't really a position where we have a lot of high overalls or high power players. And uh, you have to do a lot in order to get them, like Jackie Robinson or Alfonso Soriano. So I just wanted to kind of give you my thoughts on the players i think that uh jesse winker has the potential to be the best diamond leading up to marcus simeon as well as that zach wheeler card of course i think zach wheeler will always have some value um pitchers have a little bit more value to me this year but i always will value a hitter that plays every single game more so than uh any pitcher regardless if they're the best pitcher in the game just because you cannot use them every single time just based on my experience with MLB the show uh, hitting is always going to be the most important thing that's what keeps me in the ball game that's how I win most of my my games is just because of uh, my hitting or the ability to make adjustments at the plate and try to break out of a slump if you know it happens because it does happen to everybody um, but that's where I lose a lot of my games is when I don't hit it's not really necessarily on my pitching aspect or my defensive side of things it's usually when i make poor decisions on the bases and with my offensive uh, situations but with that said i'm hopping into this event i've really had a lot of fun playing this live series event on all-star difficulty um i've been playing a lot of games on hall of fame recently i haven't hopped to, into any games on legend but with that team that i showed you a little bit earlier i am going to try out a couple players like trevor story potentially some of these player of the month cards uh, Zach Wheeler, I, I do want to try him out on the mound. I think he will be pretty effective. Uh, but a couple other players, right? We have that Corey Kluber. We got some other guys that may make an, a, an appearance. I like to mix it up with my starting pitchers. I probably used, you know, 30 plus starting pitchers this year. And uh, I plan on using a lot more. The content for MLB The Show 21 has been spectacular so far this year. I really hope that it continues. It feels like, you know, every other day we're getting cards. Uh, brand new cards in the in packs, brand new packs in the store, all kinds of stuff. Um, but with that said, we should be getting more cards in the Kitchen Sink Pack Part 2 coming out in the next couple of days. I think it takes place on Thursday, June 10th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it might be Friday. I'm not exactly sure. But that's going to do it for this video. Once again, that's how you unlock 96 overall May Player of the Month, Marcus Simeon. Looks like a pretty solid all-around card. However, I don't think I'm going to lock in all of those stubs for that specific dude. But I hope you have a great day. I'm College Lefty, and peace out.